guys, James here today and welcome back to another Sims 4 house building video. Today we're in San Mashuno building a factory and renovating it with vintage glamour stuff which has just been released today. Uh, I believe it's out now, I would assume. Uh, I was very, like, gratefully... Oh, very gratefully. I was given a copy by EA Australia to uh, sort of prepare a little bit of content early, so I'm glad I could get this out. And I had a lot of fun uh, building with this new pack. So uh, because I've been really enjoying building penthouses and building in San Myshuno, because I've only just sort of got back into building uh, with City Livid, I thought, you know what, why don't we build on that factory lot uh, over in the Spice Market and we'll sort of build up a little factory and then we'll, I guess, convert it into a sort of, I guess, modernized, it doesn't really make any sense, a modernized vintage glamour play. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense because it's vintage glamour, so it's like really old school kind of art deco-y vibes, but then it's modern. Anyway, you know what I mean. I'm using vintage glamour and I've renovated, well, I say renovated the factory. We technically built it new, but let's not get into all the details. But I've mostly used uh, all the items. Well, I think I did use every single item from Vintage Glamour. Uh, as far as I'm aware, I used both of the wallpapers. Obviously not all the colors. I used a new door. I used the new windows. There is a lot of really, really nice stuff in this pack, actually. I will say that. Out of all the stuff packs, I think this this is one of the strongest. I would, I would have... I can't say right now if it's the best, because I think I would have to go back and compare it to the other ones. But... Like, right now, I think it has some fantastic items in it. It's really cool, actually. Uh, but, I mean, that doesn't really mean anything unless you see it, because then you can decide for yourself. And that's just a little bit easier. Uh, but I haven't checked out any of the Creator Sim stuff yet. But to be honest, that's really not my thing, so I don't really care about that. Uh, more so just build and buy. Really like the items in it, so. But you'll see them all pop up here, and I'll talk about them a little bit more as uh, we get to that point. Oh, deleting all that flooring in those little flower gardens or flower beds was actually really annoying. Because uh, I couldn't just remove it as a room. But anyway, I decided, you know... This is, we could just have a big slab of concrete down, but I thought, you know, these people have moved in, they decided to turn it into their home, they're going to make it a little bit nicer by getting all this garden down, all this green space. I was going to cover, cover? I was going to cover this entire wall with uh, ivy, but it looked kind of stupid and I really didn't like it. <laughs> so I decided not to do that. So inside, the idea was that it was going to be a big factory, well, not big, it's a very small factory, technically. A, a little factory that was all opened up and, uh, and then the They've sort of moved in, sectioned it off, put up walls, put up all these bits and bobs and turned it into something a little bit more homely. So up the top, uh, we're going to have the master bedroom. Uh, that's pretty much the last thing we do. So you'll see that a bit later. Uh, but yeah, this is pretty much just one bedroom, one bathroom home. It's a very, uh, very stylish, very vintage glamour, if you will styled home. But yeah, so one big luxurious bedroom upstairs, and then all of downstairs for living, uh, and then kitchen, dining, all that kind of stuff, and you'll see it take shape. I was going to do those sort of factory-esque looking stairs, but I was like, no, no, this is, this place has been remodeled. It's supposed to be up market. Uh, so that's what I want it to look like, and that's what I'm trying to do. Uh, one thing I didn't actually get was a bathroom upstairs with the bedroom which I didn't actually realize until the end. I was like, oh yeah, I didn't put a bathroom upstairs with a bedroom. There is a bathroom downstairs, just not upstairs. Oh, that was me. <laughs> if you just saw me like rotating a lot, I was just trying to figure out where I wanted to put stuff. So you might notice those garage doors on the inside and the outside. I mean, the idea behind that was when you have a garage door, uh, usually it will go through to the other side. You know, it will, if you'll see it on both sides of the wall. So that's why we have those three garage doors on both sides of the wall, outside and the inside. But on the inside, as you can see, I'm just covering it up. I put a kitchen in front of it. They're more so there just as aesthetic pieces that, you know, like it's kind of like the remnants of the old factory. Like that's where they used to, I don't get, bring things in, take things out, etc. cetera. Uh, but now in the renovation, these people have just decided to cover them up. They've left them there. They haven't removed them, but they're covering them up with other bits and bobs. So using all these new items, that's a new sort of partition divider kind of thing. The new mirror, the new wallpaper, new paintings, new dining chairs. There's pretty much a lot of that stuff there is new. And oh, the new uh, chandelier. That's not a new rug. That was from City Living. But they do have a shaggy rug that came with this. It's like a little furry looking rug. But I really like the City Living rug better. That one just looks a little bit nicer, a little bit fluffier. 
because uh, I really like the edges on it. It's quite nice. Uh, so now that little piece there that I'm putting in uh, is actually a set of drawers, technically. Uh, so your Sims can change at it, but it looks really good as just like a side table that you can put around the place. So I actually put a lot of those in the build. So if you want to change anywhere, I mean, technically you can actually just change anywhere anyway by clicking on your Sim and just telling them what outfit to put on. But we're going to have, a, there's sets of drawers all over the place. So <laughs> if you do need to use a set of drawers, there they are. I guess you can plan your outfit wherever you want. So, I mean, it's kind of convenient. Uh, so if you don't know much about Vintage Glamour, as you can tell, it's pretty, pretty bold. It's pretty, uh, pretty full on. Uh, a lot of the, a lot of the colors. I mean, obviously, there's more muted colors that you could use, but I really wanted to go like the black and gold because the wallpaper. Again, if you don't know the wallpaper, and you might, it might be a bit hard to see in this build video just because we're moving so fast. But the the gold part of it actually like shines in the light uh, as you rotate your camera and it reflects light, and it just looks awesome. It looks so nice. And then. Yeah, the flooring that I'm using is obviously from uh, City Living. Well, maybe not, obviously. But the flooring is from City Living. Uh, it's the basketball court flooring. Still my favorite flooring right now. It is so good. It's so nice. Because again, it's shiny. Shiny wood floors are beautiful. Like, it looks like they've been varnished so well. Uh, anyway, so we're using a bunch of these items. I didn't want to go too overboard with matching everything with the black and gold. But I kind of did, and I kind of like it. So uh, those are the new curtains there as well. That globe in the corner as well is like a new little bar thing. Uh, that's a new rug underneath the chair. Like like I said, I'm just using like all the new bits where I can. New uh, potted plant, new end table with a mirror on it. I mean, if you see something, it's probably... If you see something, you're like, what's that? I haven't seen that before. It's probably new. Uh, <laughs> that bookcase behind the desk is obviously not going to be usable, but there is another bookcase that I placed upstairs later on. So you will be able to, you know, get to the books and all that. So that should be fine. I wasn't actually sure if I overdid the curtains or not in this place. Um, I mean, obviously you need curtains, right? For privacy and that. But I was like, looks like there's a lot of curtains. But I, I don't know. I kind of like it. But it kind of gives me a wedding venue vibe just because they're all white curtains and they look really like fluffy. Not fluffy, but really quite, uh, I don't know glamorous i guess because this is the vintage glamour pack i don't know it kind of just gave me wedding vibes uh, maybe that's just me um so I, yeah i don't know if i'm convinced by the color of the curtains is i think the problem but i didn't want to do black curtains because i think I, that would have made the place a little too dark uh and it just would i think i would have just closed it in a little bit too much so that's why i wanted the white so at least it was a bit brighter um, so most of that upper space on the second floor is actually just open, uh, so it makes the place feel quite large as well, and we just sort of move the wallpapers up the top as well. Uh, I don't know if you saw it before, I mean you probably did, the new sofa that I put in, uh, and then I think I moved into the other room. I really, really like the new sofas. I'm like, oh, thank god there's finally another sofa I can use in the game that should hopefully go in most circumstances like it should hopefully fit in most circumstances because a lot of the, the problem with a lot of the sofas i find is that they're really they're either really stylized to only fit a certain theme or they're just ugly um like these ones they have a, a they're a bit fancy on the back and that but they seem i guess generic enough that you could kind of use them anywhere uh, at least it looks like, like I'll, I'll see as we get into more builds in the future, but it seems pretty good. But yeah, then a lot of the other sofas in the game are either like super modern or super like old school looking, like vintage. And just some of them like super Victorian ones. And it's just, we need more sofas. We just need more sofas. And I'm glad we got one, but we need more. I really wish they had done a two-seater version of that too. That would have been nice. I feel like it should be a rule. If you're going to add a three-seater version of a sofa, you have to add the two-seater version. You have to, because it's just annoying. <laughs> it's just really annoying. Um, anyway, just going through and just doing little details here and there. Uh, I wanted to get the bathroom in the little... Well, I guess in the living room, where those where the two big double doors go into it. You can't really see it right now, but because that was actually like the perfect spot, but it didn't really work out with all the doors. Uh, so this little corner here was just a spare spot, and I was like, you know what? Let's just make it an artist corner. It's a factory. It seems like a kind of artsy place that some artsy, fancy person would live, especially with all like the really uh, upmarket sort of glamorous stuff in this place. I mean, look at those golden dining chairs. It's it's crazy. Now, you might be wondering why I'm using those lights as well in this build. It it doesn't, they, 
well, you know, don't look like lights you would have in your house. But the idea behind those wall lights was actually kind of going back to the factory vibe, like that this used to be a factory and maybe they had those more industrial looking lights hanging on the wall. That was the idea behind it. And then the people that have renovated have come in and put the chandelier in, but not those, they haven't removed those walls from, uh, those lights from the wall, sorry. So that was the idea behind those. Uh, so yeah, getting the new little sofa area in. I love that circular rug as well. It's so... It's so, so cool. Got the little drinks tray on the side, the golden one, new painting. I totally forgot that there was a new fireplace. Don't, don't worry. Like I, I put it in in a second, but that's why I had a TV there at first. Uh, and I was just like, it looks a bit blank. You know what? So let's get the fireplace in. Oh, beautiful. Like that thing is so, like, it's just such art deco. <laughs> it's such an art deco looking fireplace. It's crazy. Uh, it's nice that we can finally do some, uh, more of the Art Deco vibe. Uh, the only problem with that living room is now there is no TV. There's no TV in this place at all, which I guess if you were playing an artsy fartsy folk, I guess you probably don't need a TV. So that's all good. Love the new mirrors too, actually. I, I really I really do love a lot of the items in this pack. Um, and it always sounds a bit dodgy, me saying that when I was given the pack. You know, I, like I said earlier on, EA gave me the game, uh, the game pack, of oh, game pack, the stuff pack. They gave me the stuff pack. So like I said, I mean, make up your own mind, to be honest. This is not a review of the pack. I'm just saying, I like the items, but you're free to make up your own mind. Um, yeah, no, just, that's just my opinion. But I guess I can understand why, why some people are always like, oh yeah, but your opinion could be skewed. I mean, yeah, sure, it could be. But at the same time, I do like it. I think, I I do think for $10, because 10 US dollars, that's right, I think is how much it is. Is that how much stuff packs are? I don't know how much stuff stuff pack is. For 10 US dollars, I think it's worth it. I think it's like 15 Australian, which is getting up there. Don't know if I can agree with 15 Australian, but 10 US, although that's about, 10 US is about like $13 anyway, Australian. Anyway, the point is, really like the items in it, and it's quite nice. I mean, if it's, I mean, obviously, if you don't like this style of item, you're not going to really like it. But if you do like uh, these kind of items, like all this black and gold, shiny, and this is for you. Two new beds, there they are. Uh, and I used this one, because I, I thought that one fit the factory vibe a little bit more. It seemed a bit more, I don't know, industrial, I guess. Seemed a little bit more industrial than the other bed. The other bed was much more tame, which I think the other one would be a lot better to be used in regular homes, whereas this one is definitely way more out there. Like I was saying about the other, like the sofas and that, how so many of them are way too stylized that you can't use them. That's kind of like this bed. It's pretty stylized. But thankfully they included one that is much more, uh, I guess, muted in style. It just looks much more generic. But then you also have this kind of crazy one, which I'm fine with, because that means you get best of both worlds. Uh, so this bedroom, I actually had a lot of fun with this. This is actually, this actually turned out very white as well. Very wedding-esque. Oh yeah, we've got the new, uh, what do you call it? Vanity table on the side there. Is that what it's called? That's what I'm going to call it. Where you can sort of do all your makeup looks and all that. Uh, don't have a butler room in this build, actually. I didn't even think about that until just now, because I forgot. Actually, you know what? Yeah, no, this pack is totally worth it because I I was only basing me like purchasing it off of the items, right? But then you have the the uh, the vanity table, which is an interactive item. You also have butlers that are a new NPC. I mean, yeah, that's pretty good. I mean, again, make up your own mind. Like, I mean, it's not this is not a review. <laughs> this is not a review. If you if you want any of that stuff, I mean, that's, that's it. Uh, cool. So going outside, so we've, I think we just finished the whole interior and I thought we have this huge entertaining space at the top here. So let's make it look a little bit nice. Just going to get a, bu a bunch of greenery up here because it is really, there's a lot of bricks, a lot of concrete. Uh, we need to green it up a little bit. That's why down the bottom as well, we have those huge flower gardens, uh, which you will see me decorating in a little bit of time. Uh, so this one's going to be pretty simple up here. Just a dining table, uh, barbecue, and then we get like an awning over it all. And by awning, I mean the glass roof from Get Together, which is super nice. I thought it was quite nice. Nice little bit of contrast. You get those sort of modern vibes mixed in with the industrial kind of factory Vintage glamour art deco. I don't know. It's an interesting build. I really like it though. It sounded like I didn't because I stumbled over my words. No, I really like it. Once we get into the screenshots, I mean, I don't know if I went a little overboard just because there were the new items and using them all, but I think that looks really cool. Anyway, so here I am just doing the little flower gardens. Uh, this is the easiest way I found to do it was just to sort of sit here, 
choose different flowers, put them in, and then it just got like so colorful <laughs> so quickly. And I, re I really liked it. Like it's nothing crazy. It was just a simple little flowering of the gardens. And uh, there's the post box and the bin, of course, because I usually forget those things. I didn't this time. I was thinking of putting a statue in there, but it didn't really make sense. I did get these little flying birds things, which I don't know if it really makes sense for a house. It seems much more of a commercial kind of museum y piece, but I don't know. I kind of liked it. <laughs> I kind of liked it, so I put it in there. Added a little bit of oomph. Around the side here, we have those three garage doors. So uh, going back to, I guess, the history of this place, I wanted it to look like a driveway. And I'm, I'm using this little fence to paint lines, if you will. So that's kind of like a no parking stopping area, that yellow section where there were paint that's cross hatching there. So you wouldn't stop on it. Uh, and then obviously just the white lines leading up to the garage doors. That was the idea of that. Nothing too crazy, just a little simple uh, detailing. Just because it was very empty on the side. Getting the side... I was, I always have to estimate the size of these vehicles when I scale them up, but just adding that in there for a little bit of aesthetics. Around the back, nothing too crazy either, just adding in a swimming pool. And I decided to go a little bit, I don't know, I don't know if, I, I like it. It's, it, I guess a bit crazy. Uh, you'll see it in a second. So we're just getting a glass fence around, which I thought was qu like quite nice actually. The glass fence and then just get a bit of greenery in here as well. And then I thought, you know what? Black and white marble tiles. I don't know, I, I like it. I do like it. It seems weird. It does. But I like it. <laughs> I really like it. Anyway, screenshots, here we go. Uh, so we got the really nice kind of factory vibes from the outside that's brought to life from all the flowers and all the greenery. And it's just really lifted up. Look at the look at the pool area. I don't know. I, I do like it. I love the I I really like the black and white tiles. I think that was a good decision. Here we go, interior, the sort of main living space, kitchen, dining, study in the back. Just a view from up above here, looking down over the kitchen as well. Uh, yeah, no, I, I think it looks really, really nice. It's definitely different to how I would normally furnish, because normally I wouldn't use these items, because, well, first of all, they didn't exist, but normally I would probably do like modern or... Uh, oh, that was a confusing photo. It flipped around the other side, but it looked really similar because of the way it moved. Uh, but of course, you can download this on the gallery. When this video goes live, I don't know if it'll be up in the gallery immediately, but uh, check back shortly. The link will be in the description uh, to download it when it's available. Uh, it will also be like just up on my origin, no, my gallery profile. So if you search The Sim Supply, the same as my YouTube username, all one word, you'll be able to find it there and all my other builds. There's the bedroom. I love the bedroom. Now that's really wedding vibes. That's like a wedding room right there. Like surely. That's exactly what that looks like. <laughs> There's the outdoor like entertaining space up the top there with the barbecue and the dining table. Just another view of the pool. And then we're going to jump into, I believe, the floor plan screenshot. So you can see how it's laid out. It's pretty simple. Uh, nothing too crazy there. And then up above, you can see the master bedroom suspended above the rest of the place. But there's no bathroom upstairs. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, that was, I guess, my first build with vintage glamour stuff as well, which I really, really enjoyed. But thanks for watching, guys. I will see you next time and have an awesome day.